This is Twit. Let's talk hardware. All right, Stacy. Time for a game. Do you think Leo ordered any of these products? Yes. Which? But you were probably cranky about the folding phone. That's what I think you ordered. You think I ordered the folding phone but was cranky about it? I was so cranky, yes. I said, no way I'm spending 1700 effing dollars on that folding phone. <laughs> yes. So you're right. I did not order it, though. I was cranky. Oh. I was okay. very excited about the tablet. The tablet? Yeah. Surprisingly excited about. Including huh, the dock. Me, and they're yeah, throwing the dock in. So the tablet's $499, yeah. 120 gigs of RAM. 128 gigs of RAM, uh, 100 bucks more, you get more RAM, 256. But I love it. that it, I was relieved, frankly, that they're throwing in the dock because I think this is a good idea. It's a normal, you know, Android tablet. It's 11 inches. But with the dock, you know, you it becomes like a, a Nest hub, right? But it doesn't. Okay, this tell me. why I was disappointed. Oh, good. Tell oh. me what I did wrong. So, no, you didn't do it right. Like... I am super confused as to who this tablet's for. I think that it's an, I, like, I love the doc idea, but I think Google just took it halfway and it doesn't make sense to me because I, I think the, it doesn't solve that big of a problem. Well, it's always, like you know, the, they made up the problem that you have a tablet, but you always forget it, right. put it in the door and then it's not charged. So I don't think that's, that was a problem like when we all got tablets like 10 years ago, but we all figured out that we just have charging stations. Yeah, or I keep my iPad house, charged. But. I absolutely do. I have two iPads and I keep it charged. But I also, I have, I have to say, I have three Google Nest hubs, two big ones and two little ones. And this will not replace them if what oh. you value in your Google Nest hub is the, like all of the things. Oh, oh, I I'm can't say, out, hey, hub, set a timer for 12 minutes. For green beans? I can't do that? When it is in the docking mode, if the tablet is there, you can. Oh, good. But And I so can say, it does hey, turn off the lights because I use it for that. But if someone has your tablet, then that's gone. Well, right? nobody's going to take it my damn no, tablet. He's, he's, he's rude and selfish. Well, it won't do it in. So it has hub mode, but it only has hub mode when it is. When it only docked. behaves as a smart home device when it's docked. Well, that's good. Docked, that, At least it does that. At, well, at least, but I already have a Nest device that does that. And well, it doesn't true. have a thread radio. Oh. The dock itself doesn't have any microphones, so it doesn't do anything. Like By the dock itself. without the tablet is right. nothing. Right. And it doesn't have, like, it does have ultra wideband, but it's not using solely or anything for, like, presence detection. It's just doing kind of range stuff. Like, I just, to me, I wanted this to be, like, a full value smart home device and a tablet because for five hundred dollars it's a lot and so the main uh, thing just, it doesn't i'm a little confused the main thing it does not do is act as a smart home device all the time when it's detached what you want when it's from, detached. i don't yeah. know why it yeah. wouldn't why yeah, it could odd it turns it into odd. a yeah, tablet it, yeah so that's just to me it's like eh. yeah and that dock becomes completely useless like It'd be cool if that dock had a microphone so you could keep right. issuing voice commands to the dock. Right. Or it had a thread radio so it's a border router. Yeah, in fact, I don't like, see why it couldn't. Uh, and I don't see why the tablet shouldn't be able to, you know, work. That's what does I don't care. Yeah, yeah I agree. That, well, that's why I'm disappointed with it. So, so that's where I... And when I asked Google, because I was on the briefings for these, I was like, is this... How does this relate to the Nest Display products? He's like, we don't, you know... it. It does not compete with that. It's a completely oh, different audience. Oh, sounds like corporate politics. The Nests are running Fuchsia. Uh -huh. This is running Android. Uh, this is more expensive. The you know the Nest Hub Max, uh, which is the, uh, admittedly only a seven inch screen, is two twenty nine. And but I have that's so the I've, Nest Hub two two the bigger is it one. The Max. The the Max used to be that big speaker. I, what I don't mean the big speaker. I mean the bigger screen. Okay. The, Sorry, I'm like, no, it's, the Nest Hub Max was... By the names are terrible, and I can never remember. Oh, God, I know. I hate it. I think it's the second-gen Nest Display is, I think, what okay. it's called. Because I have the little one that speaker. doesn't have a camera. That's in the bedroom and the gym, because I don't want anybody to see me uh, lifting weights. <laughs> and oh, no, there is a Nest Hub Max. charge for that You're the right. as a at a benefit. <laughs> no. Oh, I you haven't charge. checked Twit Plus, have you, sir? <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, the Nest Hub Max. So that's the one that's closest... But it's still only a seven-inch screen. 
Um, I do, you know, I do things like say, because I have YouTube TV, so I can say play YouTube TV on it. But having an 11 inch would be a little bit nicer. But it's only 229, yeah. and you can't detach it. It's not a tablet. And then I have the little ones, the Nest second gen Nest Hub that you were talking about. That's, as I said, that's in the bedroom of the gym because it doesn't have a camera. Um, right. I, you know, this will be this the this will be this will replace a next Nest Hub Max in the kitchen. I think. Because it'll no no. <laughs> what if someone's streaming movies and has your tablet while you're trying to cook? Then you're going to not be able well, we to set up your timers. Plenty of tablets and TVs. Yes, they, of they have plenty of ways to watch TV. Okay. They better I'm just not saying, steal like, my tablet. Like for a normal tablet. person, <laughs> but the I do, is I like do the think worst having place. it there. Like if I wanted to, you know, I'm going to watch TV. I might want to take it and bring it with me so I can, I don't know, do stuff. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. It's probably. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't have bought it except I. I want to review it. So, um, and I just yeah, couldn't bring myself it. to to buy the. I have a seven, so a seven pro. I I didn't feel like I needed a seven A, but the seven A is going to no, be nice. You don't. By it's the way, this be fine. Six A now is dropped in price at 120 bucks. So if you were in the market for a six A, now it's even more affordable. The seven A is pretty much. Uh, who was it was saying uh, today that uh, the seven A is getting closer and closer to the seven Pro? Oh, Mr. Howell said that in our Discord yeah. today. Discord. Yeah, that the capabilities are now you know pretty close to a seven Pro, and it is half the price. And the prices are yeah. yeah. So and it comes in what they call coral, but I thought I'd ask you, Stacy, what color is that? It's I would uh, call that coral. Okay. It's like a pinky red. It's an orangey Salmon. pinky red. <laughs> Salmon. Yeah. Salmon. Looks like, a, Salmon. looks like a fish to me. It's not sockeye. <laughs> Salmon sea. Steelhead. Charcoal. Charcoal's nice. Or snow. Um, I, I really you know, hate that coral color. Yeah. Because it's neither, it's I, I neither this nor that. It's cantaloupe, yeah. but it's also salmon. This is a commentary on why there's really nothing new with phones. When you go drive yes. into the tunnel, the huge billboards above it all around yeah. are all Apple saying, we have yellow phones Yellow now. phones, yeah. What else? You, even in, when, I, you even when I was in Portugal, it was like all the ads are for yellow iPhones. It is. It's sad. Yeah, sure. It is. Uh, and, and when they spend seven minutes on the fact that you can generate emoji wallpaper, who the hell cares? Oh. <sighs> I don't care. Now, this is... Uh, Meanwhile, Line 60 Leo is Google's uh, uh, hip video for the foldable. So, Stacy, you have the flip. You like foldables, I think, right? I mean, I probably... I don't know if I'd get another foldable. And I... Oh, interesting. Why not? Well, because the price differential... I mean, I'm using it because you gave it to me for free and I wanted to play with it. But right. the price differential is huge on those and I'm also not a phone snob. I don't really care about my phone. Right. It just needs to work. So I'm not Amen. a good person to ask. I don't, I honestly don't think, I don't really like the big foldable. I thought the little foldable had some merit cause you can, it's small enough. You can put it in a little. Yeah. Pocket. It's appealing. It's appealing. The big one's just too big and I don't need a 7.2 inch Screen was it the NBA watch party that you wanted yes, me to? Yes, yes, watch that. Yeah. Okay, this is for sure going to take us down. This is Google's. Yeah, we got to mute it. So it's a bunch of basketball. Do you call them ballers? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you. That, that was excellent. Yes. Well done. Uh, but they're, wait a minute. They're not, this is not, that's the seven, dude. It's no, they're eight. going to. They're going to. They're going to unfold them? To. Oh, yeah. there we go. It's not that bad. Wait, no, you know, first of all, bad choice for a basketball player, because what are basketball players known for? Big hands. Big hands. Yeah. So you makes your phone look small. Because they got massive hands. Yeah. Um, it'd be, you know, so that might have been a tactic. That, that may be what they're they're trying to do there. I mean, because like when I see a big oh. phone, I'm like, nope. Oh, maybe they're trying to hide it that it's a big phone. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. is manageable. Yeah. Um, if you're I six think, foot eight. <laughs> I think 1700 bucks is all, is the kind of 1800 Is 1799 right? Oh, you're right. 
17 oh, That's ridiculous. This is, this is how Leo buys things. Oh, 99 Yeah, that's why they charge. That's why they make it seventeen ninety nine ninety nine. Because Leo's going to say 1700 bucks. It's $1,800 minus a penny. Uh, <laughs> nope. Yeah. Um, it really looks a lot like a, a Z. Actually, this was a good piece from The Verge because they showed the Z Fold. Now, the Z Fold d has a thigh gap, and I didn't. I don't like that. Mm -mm. But I put mine in a case so you can't see the thigh gap. Google, to their okay, credit. Can we please not call it a thigh gap? <laughs> Just for so many reasons. It's, <laughs> it, it's gross. It it's disgusting. Gross. Uh, and it's also a little offensive. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, no so thigh gap. What, what do you propose? A butthole? Oh, it's called a gap, oh, dude. Boy. Oh, boy. He's been working too long. Speaking today. of buttholes, too by long. the way. <laughs> I told you, Punchy. No, no. <laughs> this is, a, I think, a reasonable commentary on the new logo for Google Assistant. Have you seen it? I no. don't recall. I don't like where this is going at all. <laughs> oh, I don't either. Watch out, Stacey. <laughs> yeah, the studio, get, get the punching thing ready. Uh, let me see if I can find it because they they've changed the la the logo. Uh, let me see. Maybe if I, I search for it. Google top logo it butthole, it'll come right up, and it does. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> they may. Oh, it's the authenticator. Sorry. So the original authenticator, nice. It looks like a safe, right? It's got bolts. Uh, yeah. The new one. I guess you could say like it looks saying. it's it's sphincter like it looks sphincter ish. It, it also just looks asterisk. like an asterisk, man. Dude, yeah. I, that's yeah. a reach. Come on, people. Yeah, it yeah. That's it's a an reach. asterisk. Uh, you know what? This is why I shouldn't get my inf my uh, my uh, material from Twitter. Twitter. Yeah. Yeah, that's that becoming even more that dangerous. That was my <laughs> error. Yeah, apologies, everyone. <laughs> uh, so let's see what else. The fold. Uh, I, you know, to their credit, the Pixel is uh, doesn't have a gap of any kind. It looks nice and thin. They say it's thinner, in fact, than mm -hmm. the Fold. Um, it's funny talking to Hardhead this morning about it. Um, he says, that phone looks nice, but man, that's thick. And I had to explain to him, I said, dude, you not played with phones long enough. That's actually pretty much what phones used to be like anyway, as far yeah. as that thickness goes. And that's not very thick. But yeah, when I when they showed now. it to us on the the whatever it was the press briefing, it was real impressive. Like I was like, dang, that's felt. <laughs> yeah. So you, did you handle it? No, no, no. It was a virtual. It was like okay. a Zoom press briefing. Uh, it is a higher uh, screen resolution, slightly twenty two oh eight by eighteen forty. That's a little higher than the Z Fold four. Um, How much does it weigh? It weighs floppy wrist. The floppy wrist contingent <laughs> wants to know about ten ounces, which is not super heavy. It's a little more. It is more than the Galaxy Fold. Also, bigger battery, which is good. And and it has. You know, it's funny because Apple gets so much material, so much mileage out of the fact that they make their own processors. And the you know we got our A four A fifteen, and we've got the M one. Google's been making their own processors in the since the Pixel seven, right? And it's the Tensor G two. Which is, I think, a pretty good chip, but they don't get the they don't get the love for it. Twelve gigs of RAM. I don't call it bionic. And yeah, running uh, uh, desktop computers and laptops the way Apple is doing it with all of their stuff. Right, but I think it's as comp uh, as 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 powerful. I don't know. I think it is. Camera, uh, you know, it's a Google camera, so it's probably pretty good. Probably comparable to the Samsung. I, the Fold camera is very good. I think. Um, does not have 8K video recording. Fold does. It's got a fingerprint scanner in the power button. I like that. That was a good choice. Uh, it does have face ID, which, or face unlock, which the Fold does not. Millimeter wave and sub 6 gigahertz. Stacy says, thumbs up, right? Wi-Fi yes. 6E. That's good. No stylus. Yeah, for a phone. Yeah. And both are both $1799.99. Does the Samsung have a stylus? Yes. The I'm Samsung is basically. The Pixel the tablet note. didn't have a stylus. Oh, it doesn't. They didn't mention a stylus, did no. they? Oh. No, it actually doesn't. Someone asked, and it oh, does not have a stylus. Interesting. Or it just feels like a half-assed tablet. Yeah, which is what every Android tablet. Well, certainly every Pixel 
tablet has felt like. Um, I guess people like the Samsung Galaxy Note tablet. Anyway, Pixel Fold. Oh, so when did you get your briefing? You you were all up on this already. May first. May first. Wow. I was still in Italy. No. <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> shot. You didn't share with us. Yeah, so she's good. From no. me. You were NDA. I was still in I Italy. <laughs> you can trust Stacy with your secrets. I presume you were uh, you were NDA'd on all of that. I only do embargoes. I don't do NDAs, but I was under embargo. So you could. I don't have break embargoes. You could have told us. Yeah, you could have well, boarded once. it over. I know something <laughs> you don't know. Once. Also, I try to keep my word. I mean, I've. I well, wait a minute. What's the difference an between an embargo and an NDA? Embargo just means you can't write about it till midnight Tuesday or whatever, yeah. right? Yeah, an NDA is like legally binding. Yeah. An embargo, an embargo means, is yeah. like a promise. Yeah. yeah. I might intimate. For instance, an embargo, you could intimate, yeah, I've seen it. I'll have an article on Tuesday, right? right. That wouldn't break yes, the embargo. You, you are allowed to say you're under embargo. Like I even said it last week. I said I was under embargo for some of this stuff. Did she? I missed that. Oh, well. I would have pressed you. I know you don't listen to me. I would have pressed you hard. <laughs> <laughs> this episode of Tech Break is brought to you by ACI Learning. Join an engaging IT learning community with ACI Learning and IT Pro. Hey, congratulations to Don Pizzette. IT Pro's co-founder and original edutainer, and the entire TechNado team for their 300th podcast. Good going, guys. Get your standard or premium IT Pro membership by using the code TWIT30 at checkout for 30% off. Check out go.acilearning.com slash twit to learn more. 